All right, so this, this, it's time for dumbass deck number two. <laughs> this deck, let's just take a look at the combo right away, which is um, you Iron Crag Feet to get seven more mana. If you Dual Strike first, it says copy the next spell you cost that's four or less. So this will copy the Iron Crag Feet to generate 14 mana. At which point, with 14 mana, we spend all of it on this new card, Crackle with Power. Since X equals 4, this deals 5 times 4 damage to up to 4 targets. So we shoot our opponent in the face for 20. That's how we win. Now, the remainder of the deck is trying to leverage um, that idea. Iron Crag Feats. Do we have any other big payoffs? Yeah, let's run some Ugins in here, right? Let's run some Ugins. We might even want to run four, to be honest. Um, we also have um, we have Fire Prophecy as some removal, Bone Crusher as some removal. We're trying out Heated Debate as just another form of removal. But this Dual Strike can also do things like copy our Fire Prophecies uh, and so that way we can keep filtering. We're running a pair of Maze Mind Tomes and a Psalm Simulacrum as more ways to get land. Seize the Spoils is a kind of interesting thing that we're just giving a shot right now. I, I, I don't even think it's needed. We might even um, capably just cut this entirely. But it's kind of cool the idea to dual strike to copy Seize the Spoils. So I discard one card, and then I get to draw four cards and create two tokens. That's kind of fun. Um, in terms of lands, we are running the four copies of Spike Field, four copies of Shatter Skull. Uh, something went wrong because I should have two Valakut Awakenings, but it appears that I have one Valakut Awakening. 16. I somehow only have. Huh. I messed up my math somewhere. Let me just cut a Spike Field and put in a Valakut. I, I really do want two of these puppies. So we now have 16 lands with this weird spread. Sure, that seems fine. Great. Great, great, great. What about something like Magmatic Channeler? Whoops. Magmatic Channeler is discard a card, exile the top two, and choose one of them. You can play that card this turn. This is a two mana um, creature, and we don't really have a lot of creatures. And if we, if we are really low on creatures and we're running a tech creature, it's sort of like running straight into their removal. A card like Bone Crusher, I don't mind if it gets removed because it's Stomp and Bone Crusher. If my Simulacrum gets removed, I think that's fine. I don't know. Magmatic Channeler feels a little slower compared to just being able to draw the stuff that I want. But um, I think there's definitely some candidates. No! No! Yeah! Monorite, crackly wackly. It's kind of funny that Prismari deck we were just running. I think that we can cut the Ifrit and just have huge spells. If we cut the Ifrit and replace it with Goldspan Dragons, part of me is just like, hey. Perfect. All right. This is this is exactly the sort of deck that we're working on. Bang Carrier from ZVP says, How do you have the guts to knock on your neighbor's door, man? I'm so scared. I mean, I'm just really nice about it. So before Villain has the chance to do anything, I'm going to shoot this and put an Ugin on the bottom. Excellent. Um, you know, when I knock, for instance, if I hear noise, you know what happens? I get annoyed. And then I'm annoyed. And if I go over and I knock to my neighbor's door and was annoyed, I wouldn't like that experience. They wouldn't like that experience. But if I'm annoyed and I go, you know what? I don't want to be annoyed anymore. I am going to go over there and talk to that person. Whew. <coughs> I, I, I'm going to go over to my neighbors and knock on the door. I'm going to be really nice. Hey, man. Super sorry to bother. I just, is there any chance you can turn it down a bit? Yeah, no, it's just leaking through. No, totally, totally understand, right? If I'm giving my um, my neighbor room to just be a person, it helps a ton. <clears throat> All right, now I can move this. I took a paper towel roll, and I was, like, pointing it sideways and, like, knocking on the wall. But my neighbor was playing quite loud because they were working out, so...
What happened to our music? What happened to our beats? Why is Matty Ice looking so defeats? By the way, we're going to do some Quandrix ramp after this. You know it. You know I'm doing Quandrix ramp, baby. You know we're going to do some Quandrix ramp o bampos. Alright, well, I mean, you know. You have the cards. Ugin's good. Welcome back to the hand, my friend. Not ignore. Face to the face. Well, I mean, here's the thing. We we know that villain wants to slam down Brazen Berwa. See what happens. Coats won't listen, and I will punish their mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Goodbye. All right, great. So, let's do this. Let's play this guy again. Who doesn't love little red rampant? Little red rampant hood. Perfect. Hey, Des, how you doing? I know this sequence all too well. You chewing on the box? Listen, listen to my little sweetheart chewing on the box. It's so good. Little baby chewing on the box. You love to hear it. Foretell. I won! I didn't even do my stupid combo! Beer, 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 beer. Alexanderopoulos says, I just saw your magic commercial. That was so dope. That was a fun one to record. I feel very, very lucky that Wizards invited me to be part of that. You know, because, like, I, maybe I have a skewed perception about um, a lot of the, the stresses and challenges and stuff. Because, like, okay, so so think about, think about what I do. I go live, and then it's all me. It's all me. I gotta talk, I gotta be entertaining, I gotta do entertaining shit. I have to talk to you people who are wonderful and kind. Ugh. Alright, well. We're looking nearly there. Um. <clears throat> when those kinds of things happen. And then I go to a production that is super enters the battlefield tapped. Yes. And I go to a production that is just super crisp. There's like 50 people on the crew. All the cameras are set up. They have all the takes planned out. They have the script written. They have backup plans and backup plans to those backup plans. I mean, it's 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 kind of incredible to to get to be a part of, and all I do is they say, "Ready, 
Set. Say what we told you to say. Okay. And and sort of with with that in mind, like, dude. I, I have a huge respect for the creative team that put the entire broadcast together, or the broadcast, the, the shoot together, that did everything. I mean, I just thought, I thought everyone else was doing the hard boss shit. Probably don't need two. So Croxa Pals come to town next turn or something? And do this. We keep going, baby. We're gonna keep, keep, keep going, 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 going. Um. Yeah, no, I just thought the creative team and the production crew at Picro are just incredible. So it was just a, it was just wonderful to be part of, and much more straightforward and less dramatic than like doing a broadcast. Like, holy crap! And Patton and Danny are just lovely, 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 lovely people. Just very gentle, thoughtful people. Well, all I need to do is draw another copy of this of this thing. Then we're done. <laughs> Great. So Villain doesn't actually have enough to cast another Croxa, so we'll just do this and then we'll be good. Great. Don't even really mind that much, I'm sure. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay, so let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, I I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna... Prepare to discard the Bone Crusher. Indignant Puffin says, I had to dip out a bit. Can you explain the combo that you're setting up, please? It's the most polite message anyone has ever said on Twitch, Indignant Puffin. Sticking your little leg out, having your big old beak. I, I do beg your pardon. Let me explain to you what's going to happen, Indignant Puffin. My opponent's going to play Croxa. A number of things are going to get exiled from the bin. It might look a bit treacherous for us, right? We have to discard, for instance, our Bone Crusher Giant, which we love. However, next turn we're going to do something that's quite satisfying. What we're going to do is we're going to play Dual Strike. And with the Dual Strike, we're going to play an Iron Crag feat, which will then cause it to get copied. So we now get 14 mana. At which point, we have 14, 15, 16, 17. And what we do is we just say, x equals 5. We're going to target these five things. And we just shoot for 25 and win the game. <laughs> Did that clarify? <laughs> Did that fucking clarify for you how the deck works? Did that clarify? <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's let's fire up another game because I really think that what Indignant Puffin is saying is, can you provide more examples? Oh, that's fun, 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 fun. Uh, I'd like to give a warm thanks and shout out to my business partner in crime, Eric, for pointing out this combo to me. A 
I'd like to thank the Academy. Oh! Madge Coulson. Alright, so we have the Simic colors. Could be a little Quandrix. Oh! Yeah, no, I've been, I've been looking for some targets. Perfect. Alright, so we'll, we'll play the Scophos. Uh, we'll seize the spoils, and we'll actually discard this one single. Ooh. We should discard this little singleton copy of... Uh, a mammoth. That's a pretty good target. All right, let's go ahead and auto pay this. Let's go ahead and play an Ugin on. A turn a little earlier than we are traditionally permitted to. Uh, I think that blue green will struggle to deal with. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Crackle with power causes me to cackle with power. <laughs> okay. Sean's going to the moon. You know what? Wall Street bets ruined the entire moon. Just ruined the moon. I'm so tired of seeing that little rocket ship emoji. It was cool for 24 hours, but it's been weeks. And people are still like, ah. Oh! Day nine, I like to get up early and look outside and just wonder what it would be like to <laughs> go to the moon. Why don't I have any money? Oh no! Oh god, my money. Oh, it's one of these purples. Okay. But the tendies, he's, tendies is an example of something that's actually quite funny because it's not overused. It's not in every post on the front page. It's calm. We assume that Villain is doing the Emergent Ultimatum list. Pay three one. Seize the spoils. Oh, I thought I was getting countered. I was like, what? What? Okay, so I think I seize the spoils into like a, um, we'll probably just discard this. I think it's probably just better value to keep the bone, bony pals. This is why we run the Valakut Awakenings. Any plans to do Golgari Pest? Absolutely damn the guy. Quandrix Ramp is the next on the docket. Essica, Essica, Essica. So I think I want to do this now. Because I can get the uh, this one on the top. I want to um, maybe get a dual cast a little earlier. So that's good. I'm going to foretell that. So now the only thing that we need is an Iron Crag feat and then we win. I think the probability of that happening is very high. Alright, it's gonna shoot me. I get it. Quadrix is Simic. Oh, yeah. Can you dual cast Iron Crag? Ezekiel, not only can we, but we did in the last game before he showed up, and it was so good. Okay. Let's seize the spoils. And let's discard a Shatter Skull, so that way we can make a thing, we can go draw, draw. Dual strike, dual strike, what would that do? This would copy, and this would... So this would copy. 
This would copy the next ones that you cast, so this would make it 4x. Yeah, so I think that it would 4x. Yeah, it would copy the spell after that twice, the three Iron Crag feats, it would copy it. Nice, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think it is three, Generic Bill. I think you're right. It is three. Maybe it's four. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the way that we would solve it is we would semantically, carefully step through. Uh, and then we would be able to deterministically find out exactly what would happen. But I'm not going to do that. It's three or four, and it's it's a, it's a shitload. That's what it is. Essica! I don't know if any of you have seen Jessica Jones Season 1. That's a car. Moo. Alright, I mean, we're, we're, we're at we're at a 10% chance. 10% and a dream. You know what I'm saying? Dang, that ain't it. That just ain't it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, sure. I'm gonna just do a little bit of just some bookkeeping, as it were. I have a sensation that we may lose the game to Alrun's Epiphany, and that's fine. That is fine. This is a control deck. I mean, I could have blasted the chariot earlier, but I was going for greed because if there's one thing that I've learned playing Magic the Gathering for much of my life, it's that greed is good. We dual cast. On an X equals 2 crackle work. Unfortunately, that would make the casting cost 8. If X equals 1, it makes the casting cost 5. Oh, by the way, dual strike is uh, mana value 4 or less. Mana value 4 or less. So I'll put back the extra turn 1. Don't you have it right now? Tragically don't. Tragically don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten mana. That would be three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So we could deal fifteen. Don't don't quite don't quite have enough. We've been found out. I'm brave. I'm not afraid. Dude, I'm just gonna draw Iron Crag feet right here. I'm like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. I'm not afraid anymore. What's. Well, well, that's strange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Vorinclex. Oh, Vorinclex. I'm so relieved that many of you went, that'll do, that's good enough, few, etc. You know, it's, it's a relief. It, it comes out with half the loyalty. Always forget that. Always forget that. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I think that the, the deck is still perfect. Deck is still perfect. Deck is perfect. There, there was a potential for maybe an alternate reality where we had used dual cast to copy the Bone Crusher to rat a tat a rat a tat of the face, something like this. We've, and then hard cast crackle for 11. We, we needed a hard cast crackle for 11. Man, a total, that is. Looks clear. Double sign says that is it two mana copy next spell would have worked? 
because we were at nine total mana. So if we had X equals two, that would have been two, four, six, eight. We, we, we would still would have needed more mana. Still would have needed more mana. So our opponent exiled one of our... We were at ten. Our opponent exiled an artifact treasure, which put us to nine. And uh, it was at that point that we burst into tears. Oh, a castle Lothwain. I love seeing this. It implies no blue mana. Don't. What are the new cards in the deck? Crackle with power, my friend. Crackle with power. Question whether we're actually ever going to get to cast that this game. I think that I will actually need the card Advantage. What do I set a, a stop at end step and upkeep to remind uh, the thing to stop so I can do scries and I want to scry before I draw? Or at least have the option to scry before I draw. Because what you might say is, well, why not put a stop here, see what your opponent does, and then put one here if you need it? Because this game uses what appears to be a lockstep um, network architecture, which means that if I don't do it early, it's very easy for it to just skip right past it. Zareth Son, huh? I don't think it gets anything, huh? Oh, it can get the land. Something's glitching out at the board. The sound is like completely fucked. Good old card name. Yeah, for any of you who don't know, whenever a card says, uh, put Zareth Sand, the trickster from your hand into the battlefield, tapped and attacking, whenever you see the name from up here, it's referencing itself. So, for instance, if a glass pool mimic was copying some effect of some other creature in some other context. It doesn't say the name of some other random card in the deck. It, it's referencing that particular card. So let's see, how do we do this? Okay, so we go like... Probably don't need that many Ugans in this list. Just couldn't help yourself, could ya, White Tiger? Okay, yeah, dude, the, the sound on the new arena is, like, totally broken. Perfect. Okay. 
Okie dokie. This is probably the right path to do this. Weirdly, this this pair of maze mind tomes is just it's feeling like the right amount. This is really good. It's suddenly feeling really loud. Dude, I know. It's just it's going out of control with sound. Not that many in the bin. Okay. Bang. Draw. Seems unlikely to win this. Dude, this game audio is completely screwed right now. Oh, what the hell's going on, man? This is so weird. I know. Really? Okay, all right. Great. I think this is a low probability matchup for us, but... The important thing is that when you lose this, it takes three times as long to lose this as anything else uh, in the game does. And why, yes, I would love to. Thank you. This is enough for a lofty denial. All right, well. Did we do it? Will it blend? Low percentage matchup. Demir Rogue succeeds because, as a general deck construction, it has a lot of counter spells and denial and tends to go under. Dude, I hope we don't get the new... Uh, Playing surface. It's just bugged to hell. And it's weird. It's almost like it, it it's disorienting. Is Drown the best counter in standard? No, definitely not. Absolutely not. I think the best counter in standard is probably just like Negate or Disdainful Stroke. You know, one of the more vanilla ones. Drown in the Lock is much too narrow for me to say that it's a broadly good counter spell. Very, very, very excellent. Great. Take it. Uh, Alright. It didn't activate because there were fewer. Um, we both had the same amount of cards. Reduce the present tense damage. I'm gonna chuck probably this. Nice mind. Seems fine. So we maybe get an Ugin or something like this. Iron Crag into Iron Crag. Probably not what we want. Okay, let's put a stop here and a stop here. Well, this board is co it's completely broken. I don't believe it. But it is a library, and I do like books. Goodbye. Oops, I need to scry then. Oh! 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 Oh, c'est parfait! 
Seems not a problem. Bang, boom. You've awakened me too soon. Let's, what do we have on the top, huh? I don't need no mountains. X equals three. Dude, listen to how messed up the audio is. This is so funny. Maybe the sound is off because it is a library. <laughs> All right. Yeah, show me what you got, Corby. I am very surprised to see this alive. I'm like very surprised that it was not killed. Oh man, this is this is some fun. This is some fun jank, is it not? I wonder if there's any deal damage draw card sort of thing. I think it has to be an is it. Oh my god, I think this is I feel like this is this is the deck. This is it's gonna happen here. Like you can hear the music playing this time for some reason. Oh. oh. Monkey Rafiki sent the new Izzet card. Yeah, no, no. We were we were just playing with that one. I really think that the Prismari deck can be tuned to be super good. All right, islands. Oh, music stopped. It's done. It's over. <laughs> oh my god, Becky. Look at her bot. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to do this, and we're going to dual strike foretell right away. And then, in a future turn, uh, we're going to see what... Yorchevich is going to do, and what our hope is... Dude, the audio is just so bad here. Audio. My god, it's it's literally better when you remove the audio. Please. Please, I insist. Hit me. Oh, okay, so we'll just do it on this turn. Commence operation to bang in a bomb. Merfolk Windy Boys. Alright, hit me. Okay, so if we do this, and then we do Dual Strike, then we play the Fire Prophecy. This one. There's that one there. Good, 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 good. I think we'll probably not want to cast this one. There's another Dual Strike. Pretty nice. I think we just don't want the expensive stuff right now. Just good old-fashioned basic stuffs. Oh, it's nice and quiet and calm and good. Exactly the way that all of this should. Hit me once, shame on me. Hit me twice, shame on Wizards of the Coast for making creatures. In their game. Oh yes, look at this. Look at this. This is some good some goody goody goodness. Alright. Oh well, I mean Okay, let's see. How, how do we win this, huh? I think it's actually just we foretell and pass. We just kind of hang out for a little bit. Like, like yeah, we're getting stuff milled. But actually, a Bone Crusher is a pretty reasonable way to win the game. Uh, 
Oh, who? They're all running Zareth's son lately. Did I just did I just fuck up and lose? All right, I'm just gonna concede. Whoopsie doopsie daisies. Keep forgetting about good old Zareth Sand. The thing is that like most of the OG um, Demir lists run Luris and no Zareth Sand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, we're gonna blame the audio. Audio. All right, play this. You know it's kind of interesting. I remember um, in film school they talked about how your your video can be a little off. But your audio needs to be, like, balanced and good. There's something about the audio being messed up that is just, like, so grating. I Means the cast of Zerasan is the best row. Without him, it's no good. Is that a joke? Snow Zone says, wait, why are you only platinum? What do you mean? What do you mean, why? Why, why would I not be? <laughs> I mean, the, the game resets the ladder every single month. Oh, this is an interesting situation to be in. Okay. You know, maybe I should have seized the spoils and tried to go for this, huh? Ooh. Snowzona says, ooh, I didn't realize you haven't played since the reset. That's right. No, no, it, like, it, it, it's not about have you played or not. It's that, like, literally, um, it resets every month and it just takes forever to do anything. So, like, you know, who cares? Seize the spoils. Probably discarding this Iron Crag feat. Seize the Spoils is turning out to be pretty good. Yeah, I will say, th th this is one of my biggest uh, criticisms of not just this game's ladder system, but like all games' ladder systems that do a reset every single month. It's like, dude, like, why aspire to anything? It's like every month at work, you're going to be demoted back to junior associate. Now, if you work your way all the way up to directorship, it'll take you two months to get demoted to junior. I'm like, oh, wonderful. Oh, thank God. I do not feel myself crackling with as much power. Sometimes it's true, true. I remember seeing you higher last and got confused and thought I was imagining things. Oh yeah, no, we've 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 hit we've done our hit the mythic a whole bunch of times, sort of thing, and you know it's it's like whatever. It's like what even is? I'm discarding the land. Okay, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm literally, literally trying to dual cast. You know what? I changed my answer, uh, Snowzona. I, I didn't cast the spell because I didn't hit the button at any point, and because I was surprised, that's why I'm not Mythic anymore. <laughs> Wizard said, if you get into Mythic, you can't drop out of Mythic unless you do that shit. Then we manually s d demote you ourselves. All right. Let me do this. Uh, why is this button not working? This button, this button, this button, this button, this button, this button. All right. Woohoo! Did I really not crackle with power? Did I not? Okay, so how much we go this, and then this, and then this, and then we Valakut Awakening, put any number of cards, so we're going to put... Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. You love to see it. You love to see it. All 
Alright, let's get some mana. Well, I do declare. X equals four. Let's dome this person. Oh, that feels good. The dome is our home. Substantial red. Amber Cleveland response with a power move. I know. We, we truly played against a gamer. We hang on to these. We hang on to these ones. All right. All right. Really, actually, terrific to see. So, depends on what comes out next, but a lot of these mono black lists tend to be pretty slow. Take a little pain in Spain, that's fine. I'm just, I'm just clicking on it. I'm just clicking on it. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. Alright, hit me. Tiago Paccioni. I guess Pacchioni. Oh... Dream on. Well, it's 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 not a sideboard. It is a main decaru. Can always crackle for x equals zero. Kind of notable. Dum da 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 dum 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 ba da 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 bum ba da da dum 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 dum. Show me what you got, Tiago Pacchione. No! Oh, it can't be! Don't make me discard a card! Uh. Right. So if I can get an untapped land off the top, that's it. That's all we need. Because then I get X equals 2, right? Actually, I'll just play Ugin, huh? <laughs> Dude, that Quandrix ramp is just going to be so good. Each player sacrifices a creature. Very cool. You know what? Let's just get the untapped land one time. Let's just do it. And there it is. Never didn't have it. And that's why we're running a bunch of these Ugans. Did I? Oh my god. My computer frame dropped for a second. And then it didn't click to four. It's painful. This is painful. This sucks. You hate to see this. Let's see if we can optimize this. Let's see if we can optimize this. What happened? Uh, my computer just like glitched a frame because I just went one, two, three, four, and, it, and then I just went okay, and, it, and then that happened. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, is there a way to improve the consistency of this deck? Uh, 
New patch buggy. It's been ridiculously buggy since I downloaded it. Yes. Um, maybe a gold span dragon would be fun to have. Maybe gold span dragon would be kind of cool to have. Where's the where's the where's the big draw cards like seize the spoils, huh? Where's the discard two draw three? Let's duplicate that card. Where is the draw three cards? Is it Cathartic Reunion? Did I just go past it? There it is. Ooh. So let's see, if I, if I were to put in something like this. So let's cut out the simulacrums, because this basically says that, no, 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 we're really going for ramps here, huh? We're like really seriously going for it. I think the heated debate is not really as necessary. Since we're going to be doing more spell copying effects, let's go ahead and put in Teach by Example. You know what I mean? We probably don't need the Maze Mind Tomes if we're doing this much redraw stuff. I don't think we'll need that much at all. You know, I'm actually going to be the smartest person here. I'm going to add in one of these and add in an Ugin. There we go. So this, this, what, what, what did we do? We basically said, let's focus and double down a little bit more on this duplication effect. And if we're duplicating spells, being able to draw three twice seems pretty fucking good. And if we're going to be drawing so much, we want to heavily skew towards the two, the one, two, and three uh, slots. So we can actually make use of our stuff. <laughs> this game might be painful. Uh, no, there's my dual strike. You jerk. Actually, maybe I should have spike field hazarded first. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I should have done. <laughs> We've been found out. And so, because I'm trying to leverage dual cast more, it means I will less frequently have dual cast to be able to pop off with iron crag feet. And so for that reason. Well, I guess actually we we have the combo in the hand, huh? So I should seize the spoils to get rid of this. Yeah, we're we're actually almost there. Somehow I just didn't didn't click for me. Let's go for it. I think I'm going to be one turn late. We're actually going to be at five mana. Not six. No Ember Cleave is incredibly good. I mean, that'll be the thing that lets us live, huh? Wow, look at this. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. I 
John Matar says, Pff, it's release day and these people are playing annoying ladder decks. Can't they have some fun trying some new decks and cards? You know, I, I made this point a wee bit earlier, but I request permission to make it again. You know, I don't give a shit. Uh, the point that I want to make is that a lot of people just literally can't afford to buy a whole bunch of packs on the first day that stuff comes out, or they didn't even know. They just are playing and they're going, oh shit, did some new cards come out? Oh, huh. There's actually a substantial amount of people that, like, literally try to grind Mono Red, enjoy playing Mono Red. You know, because, I mean, if you're someone that just grinds Mono Red in this game, you're probably just looking for a way to have a little bit of fun, huh? Yeah, I mean, so so I, I'm not I'm not that upset that my opponent's playing mono red because we got him. <laughs> uh, you know, and this is this is what's nice. This is what's nice about this list about what we've done is we have increased the focus on being on the dumb fun thing, and we did the dumb fun thing to someone who was doing the oh, I didn't play mono red sometimes. You know, it's fine. Just cast Maverick Cleave and cracks people in the teeth. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Opponent goes first. All right, so this is this is going to be a good a good opportunity to say, is our idea meritful in any way? Okay. Okay. So we you know need a land. But when have we not needed a little land, you know? When have we not? Okay, so I will have it enter the battlefield tap. And I will also Cathartic Reunion away. Let's get rid of discard two cards. So I want this. I think I want to do this next turn. So I guess it's these ones that are going to go, huh? Yeah, no, I, if that was a counterspell, I was gonna puke. Like, m m m mo I was mostly gonna puke, yeah. Bring in a bong. Okay. So, therefore, we dual cast this Seize the Spoils. Discard this. No, I think I'm just never gonna need two Crackles of Power, you know? I said... Okay. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and my opponent went to... Combat. Oh. No Obosh. Not a single Obosh was seen that day. Okay. Just gonna chill. Just gonna chill. Alright, yep. Like this. Five. Alright, just, just get it out of the way. We will probably be Valakut Awakening. 
away everything except for the Crackle of Power and the Dual Strike. Oh, that's terrible news. We can still win this. We can still win this. Um. Well, let's do this first. Um, seven, huh? Because if Obosh comes down, this deals 18 damage to us. And... My face. I don't know. I don't know, this is this is about the only play I can see, but again, like Brazen Borrower, Obosh... I mean, there's a lot that just immediately kills us. Hello? Good to see you. That's fine. I think that maybe Villain did not realize that the Bone Crusher Giant Stomp is a two mana spell. So that's six mana. So if I cast this. We literally need to get precisely Iron Crag feet. And that's it. I need this land, because I actually need five mana to dual cast an Iron Crag. Hmm. I guess I have the Labyrinth of Skophos. We crackle for eight, right? Uh, yeah, crackle for eight to deal ten damage, and yeah, that that would have been a way to um, not die in that turn. But I think that this virtually always guarantees an immediate death in other ways. Such as this. Damn. Very, very close. Yeah, the the so in in a literal sense, yes, you can crackle to kill the the giant because then X is equal to two, and then should we have the land on that turn? Pretty sure we had the land on that turn. Assuming we had the land, I just saw that. Okay, yes, we can kill the giant. We can then kill the obosh, and then if my opponent can do anything at all, I now have no more resources. I have no more tools to do anything. And for that reason, I just was like, okay, well, I don't want to do a play that guarantees I get to one extra turn and guarantees that I die no matter what. So that was my reason. Dude, seize the spoils into Iron Crag Ugin is surprisingly consistent. Alright. 
Bring it on, Walter Master. And nothing but Iron Crag feats. Something can share a skull, Iron Crag, into Ugin. That's kind of cool. But this means that Villain is not doing any sort of oddness. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does feel very good. Running four Ugin's the best thing you can do in a brand new deck, huh? Alright. One, two, three, four. Alright. So, Cathartic Reunion. Discard, draw three. Ooh, nothing's happening. I love that. Oh, I am I love that and I'm in love with that. That is some good stuff. Alright, change of plans, baby. Change of plans. Some good bone crushing. Captain Gravity says, You got here a Sean Sean opponent in the dome for 15 yet. Not 15. 20, 25. Yeah. For 10, sure. But 15. Not 15 yet. You can deal with that. Sure. Wait. How? Creature card with higher mana value? Guys running edge walls and love structs and adventure creatures and just gets there? Okay. Okay. This would mean that I need to discard two cards. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, and I gotta discard the Crackle of Power and the Cathartic Reunion to draw to draw three. So now we're on the hope to survive train, huh? I, I know this looks weird. I, I just need a cycle to get to a land. Okie Oh my god, I thought we were in, thought we were winning. I thought we were about to win. I should have fiery prophesied. Uh, I mean, you wish would have sacked it. That's fine. That's the way that it is. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. That is it. Very, very barely. Why not shoot the 3-3? Three, three? Because if I target the 3-3, three, three, then my opponent sacrifices it, causing the card not to resolve, meaning that I no longer get to cycle. I don't... My opponent missed the opportunity for the win. You can sack all these and tap all these, but I would just, in response, tap them one at a time. That's a counter. This, this is like the most bizarre deck that I've ever seen. All 
Alright. Crackle of power. X equals 4. Okay. Alright. Well, this game sucked. Man, fuck. That is, like, such a weird list from the opponent that then... That then, like, also ha I don't know. Because, I mean, if you're running a lot of creatures and Luka, you know, yeah, sometimes you'll hit Coma, but, like, feels like the deck needs to be instead about consistency. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be dual strike and some fire prophecies. Oh, huh. So if I can get to five, we, like, did it. Or some shit, huh? Yeah, I guess it makes sense if you only have three mana creatures. So we do this. And then we let this resolve. So we target this one first. So we can target this one second. So that the killing of Anax happens first, and the killing of the Kargan Intimidator happens second. This one. They get two, but then they get nothing out of this one. Ugin can go. Okay. Oh, we're, we're getting a little low on health. Rimrock Knight, you say? It. This changes so much. You know, I have exactly one play, which is Dual Strike Fire Prophecy. <laughs> oh my god, it's another Fervent Champion! Alright, we gotta switch off this. I. it's just... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Been, it's been a rough couple of games. It's been a rough couple of games, but that's all right. Because we're going to make some Quandrix ramp. We're going to do some Quandrix Quandry ramp. We actually haven't lost very much. 